So we're going to have a look at how beat matching works in Traktor. And a lot of it is helpfully quite automatic. We've mentioned already that when Traktor loads tracks, it analyzes them for beat information. And we've also noted that it adds these beat markers, which you can see here. The thick white beat marker represents the first beat of a bar, and the subsequent three represent the other three beats. Of course, that works best with 4-4 uh, music with a strong rhythm. It can beat match other types of music. It beat matches hip-hop pretty well, although again, that tends to be fairly 4-4. It works well with dubstep, which again has a much more kind of off-kilter rhythm than, say, trance or house or other kinds of electro. So it has been designed to work with these kind of up-to-date musical genres as well as more old-school stuff. And for the most part, it works very well indeed, actually. It's a, it does a great job. We'll have a look shortly at how to manually mess around with beat grids. But these two tracks that I've loaded here, these happen to be fairly straightforward electronic tracks. And you can tap to move around on any waveform, and it will snap to beat markers, essentially. And even if you get it a bit wrong, it will pretty much, when you're syncing tracks up, it will wait until the right moment to drop in a second track in sync with the first. So I'll just try playing back a track here, and you'll see that it's uh, basically got the beat analysis correct. There you go. And the same for the second track. Obviously, if you were performing and you were trying to find these beat markers, you would have the cueing going that we looked at earlier on so that the uh, sort of record scratchy noise doesn't get played out to the audience. That's the last thing you want. So I'm going to tap just to bring this track back to the beginning here. There it is. If I move, let's say, both of these tracks back to the beginning where we have a fairly clear starting point. Because the tracks are in sync, they've been synchronized by the sync engine, if I press play on the first deck and then at the right point I press play on the second deck, they should be in sync. And because my crossfader is in the center, we should hear both tracks. Now, because there are similar styles of music, it may not be immediately obvious that they're both playing. So what I will do is when they're playing, I will move the crossfader just so that you can see that there are in fact two different tracks playing, but they're meshing quite nicely. So here goes. So that's how to do playing a couple of tracks and basic beat matching, which is mostly automatically done for you by the software. In the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at manually using the built-in tools to edit and tweak beat grids to beat match more complex material or on the odd occasion when Tractor DJ might have got it wrong. <laughs>